help desk environment uh, it's uh, the remote desktop connection on your of your windows it's already enabled by the system admin but if for some reason um, it was not or it was a new computer that you are just adding or you are working on this computer and you have to enable uh, your help desk and you have to enable the remote desktop setting all you have to do is just right click on this my computer go to the settings and then click on remote settings you have to give the administrator uh, login like any account that has administrator rights and then as its password and you have to simply if you see here it says don't allow connection to the computer you have to just click on allow connection and click on this and this error message or uh, a warning is popped up it's basically saying that since it's a laptop or its power setting is set to that the hardest will stop uh, after 15 minutes of an activity or something like that so at that time when it's off or it's in sleep uh, you won't be able to connect to this computer it's just that it's asking you to change the power setting if you want we don't want to and this if you see the third option network SLA uh, oh sorry network level authentication NLA you need to turn that on if you really know what you're doing uh, because it's a network layer authentication and you have to do something like uh, uh, you have to <coughs> set up the server so for just plain simple stuff all you have to do is just click on this one without the NLA and click OK and you're all set now this computer is able to uh, be remotely connected if for example uh, now a user is using this and they don't find any browser in it other than Internet Explorer and Internet Explorer is not working they need to download or install in the software but when they go and try to because they are not administrator they cannot install anything on it it errors them out and they want you to install there are two ways either if it's in the same building and or on the same floor you can go install it physically but that's not very efficient the next thing you can do is you can remote desktop from your um, uh, from your seat uh, sitting on your desk you can remote desktop into this computer and install the software for them so for example if this is this laptop is not uh, it's in another uh, floor and I am working on this one right here on this computer right now they're side by side you can see but I, let's say zoom and I have to enable a uh, remote desktop on this computer as well it's my virtual machine so same thing right click on here and then remote desktop setting you see a layer and uh, you can uncheck this one if you want I've checked it here but that's okay it's working fine it, this is basically this option the network level is when somebody somebody's taking control of my machine so I can leave it checked here and it will work so since it's already um, enabled for the remote desktop let's go and type in remote and it should pop up you can see right there Sorry for the handiwork. Uh, uh, <clears throat> now you have to type in the computer name. It's already there. If you can see, I was earlier trying to uh, play with it. But if you go to my machine name, it's that name, Win7 Laptop. And you can see it's the same one. Now I'm going to hone my machine. It's here. Uh, from my desk, I'm going to try to connect to that one it's asking me for the administrative rights password because only a admin should perform such actions i click ok now it's saying <coughs> it's requesting and all that incorrect uh, certificate authority it's just a warning message click yes and there you go it says welcome and basically it's gonna to try to connect to the other computer I'm gonna back up so you can see both screens together what's happening 
on the right hand it's trying to connect on the left side still not basically what it's going to do is uh, <clears throat> it's going to send a message on this screen on the left here and it's going to give me a warning on the right that uh, you will be kicking out that user out and on the left it will ask the same thing that uh, somebody is trying to gain control of your computer so if you can see here the login message it's saying that another user is currently logged on so they will have to disconnect from the computer do you want to continue and yes they asked me for help i'm gonna say yes and if you can see go here it's saying connect to this machine do you want to or no if you want to click ok and you will be disconnected if you don't want to click cancel or it will be canceled in 30 seconds i'm going to click ok so now this computer you can see uh has been logged out and over there i'm going to gain access to the desktop i think it's a little bit slow because we are running over the um wi-fi probably so you can see the i have the desktop and now this user uh he wanted me to install another browser there are two ways of doing this either i can go open a uh, since i have the admin accounts on this uh, um, machine uh, i can simply go to internet explorer and go to that website and install it for them or if it's like a, a, an environment okay, where um, you have 100 or 200 computers and you do it all the time so you don't want to go to websites all the time what you're going to do is you gonna, you will have uh, those uh, execution files somewhere stored on your computer all right uh, or on the network somewhere so what you need to do is just go to your network uh, sorry for that we have to create uh, for example <clears throat> uh, the more efficient way is that uh, you go to your C drive make a folder and I have all the exe files in there or somewhere anywhere on your network it could be a file server or anything so you create a new folder you name it something like a network Let's make it network software in us. So you make a soft, uh, software installation folder and you drop all the exe in it. For example, I have a um, like from my downloads, I have a Chrome, you can see I have a Chrome and Firefox. What I'm going to do is I'm going to copy them over in this folder. Refresh. Oh, paste. So they are here. Now I want this folder to be installed over my uh, whole network so I can access them from any machine. So I need to go to properties and go to sharing. Use the advanced sharing. Share this folder and to permission now you can make it very strict you can have for example if it's uh you don't want your users to go and install themselves then you can from the active directory uh you can make this folder only for the help desk or administrative uh, account holders uh for the purpose of just this video i'm gonna make it just accessible by everyone even the user they could themselves uh, but it's a good practice if you restrict it for that this folder be accessible only through the admin uh, accounts uh, you, for that you have to just go to your uh, active directory and give the this folder access to uh, for, actually maybe we can try let's see add um, admin you can check names and there you have you have administrators built an account for that local user or the uh, one so I'm gonna give this account only with the admin and everyone they don't have any access or we can basically actually remove them so now this folder has full access 